Hey everyone, Dave Kaminsky here, Web Video University, and let's say you have a video, like in this example, where I have a GoPro camera attached to my windshield and I'm just driving around, and the video looks nice enough, but people are going to get bored really quick, because this is like a five minute long video. So what I want to do is speed this video up, do fast motion. And this is actually an excellent technique to use in your videos, whether they're marketing videos or educational videos, because this time lapse or fast motion techniques is going to keep viewers glued. Now I could do this in my video editing software. Here I'm using Sony Vegas where all I have to do is grab the edge of the clip and pull it like this and I'm creating the fast motion effect. The problem is the results are gonna be horrible. The video will have artifacts and it's kind of blurry and it just won't look good. That's where a new product called Microsoft Hyperlapse comes in and basically it's got all this magical stuff under the hood that's going to make time lapse or fast motion videos and it's going to make them look absolutely fantastic. Here's how it works. I've got it open. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to grab my video which came from the GoPro camera. It's upside down right now. So what I can do is flip it around like this. Okay, now I've got it imported. Now what I can do is trim this guy. So let's say for example, I want to have it start, say about right there, set my start point, and then I want it to end, say about right there, set my end point, and I simply go to the next step. This is where I can tweak the output. Now automatically it's going to detect what camera this video came from and you can use it really with footage from any camera. In this example I just happen to be using the GoPro and here's where I can speed things up. All I have to do is use this slider and when I move this guy what I can do is I can look down here at the bottom it's telling me hey my original video was five minutes long. I trimmed it to about four and a half minutes and now I have the output at about 15 seconds. That's pretty much what I want. And then I have smoothing options. It has standard or advanced. With the advanced, it's going to take a little bit longer, but it's going to do extra stuff to make sure the video is really smooth. And again, the videos look fantastic. Then I can choose my output file, my resolution. I'll go ahead and uh, export it at full HD, 60 frames per second. And then what I can do is go to the next step and it will go ahead and process this guy. Now I'm not going to show you this step because it takes really long. For this five minute clip, it took about 30 minutes to create my video, which is kind of long even though it's full HD, just be aware of that. But the wait is actually worth it because again, the video that comes out of Microsoft Hyperlapse looks really, really good. Let's take a look at the video that I created using the software. <music> Looks pretty good, right? See, I told you. Now, by the way, I did add background music separately to that video. It's not something that you can do in Hyperlapse. There are two gotchas with Microsoft Hyperlapse. Number one, I already told you that it takes a while to export your videos. The other gotcha is you'll notice in that video clip I just showed you that there was a watermark and there is no way currently to remove the watermark from the video. Microsoft says that Hyperlapse is currently in preview mode, whatever that means. And a watermark is going to appear there until they update the software so it's no longer in preview mode. Uh, there's no word on when that's going to happen. Is there going to be a cost involved? But right now Microsoft Hyperlapse is free. You can use it on your Windows 7 or 8 desktop. You can use it on Android devices or Windows phones. And below this video in the description, I'll have a link where you can download it or you can simply Google Microsoft Hyperlapse. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments area below. Thanks for watching.